I'm going to go ahead and put the power and ground wires in first. Ground goes to pin 1 based on my diagram. To start the process, I strip a short length of the wire, in this case black 20 gauge. And I strip approximately 1 eighth of an inch. I insert that into the solder cup and if necessary hold it with the second alligator clip in this case it appears I don't need to do that before soldering I clean the tip of my iron with a wet sponge and now I put a very small bead of solder on my iron tip to help me conduct heat from the iron to the component. I then hold that against there, feed the solder into the opposite side. And look for good penetration. Notice the length of the wire strip. It's just enough that the insulation doesn't bottom out against the solder cups, so I know that I got full insertion of the wire and yet it's not so much that we have an inappropriate amount of bare wire extending. To finish this connection I use a short length of heat shrink. I recommend using 3 to 1 shrink ratio tubing if possible and adhesive lined where practical. In the absence of a heat gun, I can actually heat shrink the heat shrink by using the iron. And now we've made our ground connection. I have a clean iron tip. I place a small amount of solder to conduct heat. I hold that against the part, feed the solder to the opposite side, and get full penetration of the liquid solder.